if we look at mini DV and HDV, for instance, all tapes now, like you said, they were um, at their time cutting edge, top quality and and uh, and all that. But you'd be hard pressed to um, necessarily find, um, well, you can still find them, obviously, but um, it's harder to find players for those tapes and you wouldn't be actually recording, right. you wouldn't be recording um, new footage uh, on that medium these days. Um, so the question becomes, uh, it might like in a certain way, people like us are a bit in a unique situation in that we, um, we're producing, um, a lot of content because of the films we were making, the videos we were making, etc. But then, you know, you, there'll be plenty of people that have home videos as well, that, um, on these things, um, that, that they might want to, um, you know, capture so that they don't lose it. Um, so it then becomes, how do you do that? So, um, uh, it's and it can be hard. You either take it in somewhere and pay someone to do it for you, or if you're fortunate enough, I've, you know, I unearthed uh, my uh, my old uh, mini DV tape deck, which, you know, uh, brace yourselves, <laughs> cost I think a, sh- a shade under five grand when I got it. Oh yes, um, state of the art, and it's got all the it's it is a professional um, deck. It's got all the controls on it, the works, and. Um, I, you know, I did really fully utilize it at the time, but I haven't used it in about, I don't know, probably a decade or more now. And what I would probably do is um, use that to um, just do a whole bunch of batch capturing of whatever tapes I haven't um, uh, used. And then once I've done that, I don't know, maybe I can uh, sell it on eBay or something uh, just to uh, see if I can get five bucks for it or, or whatnot. I mean, you can also use a camera or, or whatever. And they're just some of the options with that. But what about... And this is something I wanted to ask generally. We may have covered it before, but this idea of um, how long would, if you kept it in tape form, how long, in those particular tape forms, how long they would last. And even if they did last for, say, 30 or 40 years, in 30 or 40 years' time, are you going to be able to play those back and get them into whatever the current medium is? That's, that's the question. Well, I think the answer to the question is, uh, you know, tape's dead and even if you can play those tapes back, the real question is, is how long for? Mm. And this is the tricky thing. I think uh, we mentioned it uh, sometime this year that they made the last uh, VCR Mm. uh, player. And the reason is, is it costs a lot of money. They're precision instruments. So you can get a a DVD player now for $30, which is is great, but you're never going to get a tape player yeah. For that amount. So optical drives cost nothing. There's hardly any moving parts. Well, there are no moving parts apart from the eject uh, mechanism. And and that's it. Tape players, there's moving parts. So even in 30 or 40 years, if they're not mass producing these, which they won't because there won't be any demand, uh, you know, the price isn't going to come down. And it, you know, five or 600 bucks is a lot of money to pay if you can get one that cheaply yeah. to play your thing. So I'd be using any device that you currently have and I would be at least, at the very least, digitising them and shifting them to a hard drive. And um, even then, I mean, all you do then is shift the problem from tape to hard drive, but at least if it's already digitised and in a file format... um, well, at least you've got some options then. You can um, either, you know, have a couple of backups on hard drive so that it doesn't fail or you use the, use the cloud then. Um, it's, a, it's a bit more malleable in, in how you use it. 